doing today? Welcome to the Dirt Road Farmer. Well, uh, <laughs> we're going to continue hauling grain today. And uh, I think we're going to start off by hauling peas. We've got 3,202,000 liters to haul of peas. Uh, we're going to use these three uh, Kenworth trucks uh, just like we did on the uh, canola. They're going to be hauling to Cargill. So let's get them programmed in. Alright, they're going to pick up at the Silo 2. They're going to go to Cargill and they're going to haul peas. Let's get this guy started off. And let's go get in our second truck. Alright. Pick up a yard silo too. They're going to Cargill. And they're going to be home peas. him started off. Alright, this guy the same. Pick up at Yard Silo 2. They're going to Cargill. And they're going to be hauling peas. And let's just tell him to go to work. Now, I don't know where you're going there, bud, but uh, let's back up here just a little bit. Looks like we've got one truck loaded. The second one is loading. And uh, then he'll be off on his way and then the third one. So we'll wait and uh, follow the third one up a little ways. saying in the last video uh, we've got a long way to haul I mean a very long way to haul so uh, <laughs> uh, these guys will be running quite a bit of the day uh, of course I will not be videoing most of it uh, because it's just really time consuming but uh, yes they travel many 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 miles uh, back and forth so <laughs> now the reason I have them make such a wide turn on these turns uh, is merely so that if they meet a truck or something coming from the other direction uh, they don't run into one another so but uh, we're gonna let this guy get a little closer to Cargill and we'll get back with him all right Getting close to pulling in here at Cargill. Now this is truck number one. I know I said we were going to follow number three, but I was anxious to see what we were going to get out of a load of peas. 
so number two and three will be following us in. like it's running real good so uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll just let them get on with it they've got a lot of grain to haul and they really don't need our help because uh, I'll tell you what we stayed busy quite a bit doing the planting and the harvesting uh, yes yeah. And we ain't done yet with harvesting. We've got like 2,800 acres of mustard to harvest. So, but we needed to get rid of some of this grain. So anyway, uh, we're just going to let them do their thing and we'll check back in with them every once in a while. All right. This is the first load of buckwheat. Uh, the other two trucks that was in front of this one. Uh, they hauled the last two loads of peas. And this is the first load of buckwheat. So now all three trucks will be hauling buckwheat. See what we get out of this load. 400, $464, $464,897. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll take it. All right, well, <laughs> uh, we'll let them run. See how much we can build up. I don't know how much longer I'll let them let them haul. They've got oh, they've got over four million liters of buckwheat to haul. So I don't know if we'll get it all hauled today or not. But anyway, uh, we're gonna let them haul for a while. 
so I'll see you when we get a little farther along. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, these are the last two trucks that we're going to run today. Uh, we have been running non-stop since 8 o'clock this morning and it's 2 o'clock now so <laughs> yeah non-stop for 6 hours now we have run or we have hauled uh, pretty well all the buckwheat out of our silos at the home place I think we still have about a little over 600,000 liters uh, in a silo up here on the on the east side uh, over where all of our mustard's at. Uh, but we're not going to haul that today. We've done enough. Uh, but these are the last two trucks, and we have hauled money-wise. We have hauled $22 million worth of grain today. I'd say that's a pretty good day's work. Matter of fact, that's a real good day's work. <laughs> oh, yes. But, uh, anyway, uh, we're still not done hauling grain from the home place. We've still got soybeans that we haven't hauled yet. We've got uh, sunflowers that we haven't hauled yet. So, yeah, we, we've just got a lot to do. But, uh, we'll get it done. What I'm waiting on is for all of our mustard to be ready to harvest. Uh, we've probably got, oh, maybe one and a half truckloads of mustard down here at the home place that we could haul. But, uh, just kind of waiting for the rest of the mustard to come due and haul it all at the same time. Uh, these trucks have just run flawlessly. Uh, since 8 o'clock this morning, six hours ago, I set them up to run. The first thing we ran was all the peas. We hauled all of our peas. And then I switched over to buckwheat. Well, I switched over to buckwheat without even stopping the trucks. So, yes, they have run flawlessly. And since we've been hauling all of our grain, we've put uh, right at 10 hours on each one of these trucks. If that gives you any idea of how much back and forth we're doing. And I mean, just... <laughs> just hauling. I mean, that's all we've been doing. So, anyway, uh, I hope that you haven't gotten too bored with it. Uh, right now, in the bank, uh, we're looking, we're sitting on about uh, $32,476. So that just goes to show you what you can do. But for those of you that have followed me, you know it's been hours and hours of planting and harvesting. And now is where it all pays off. So, yes. So anyway, this is uh, the second truck. The first one, we already shut it down. And we'll pull this one right over here, right behind that one. 
I'll need to get them serviced and uh, you know get them ready to go again but hopefully that mustard will come due and uh, we can get busy on that all right this is our last truck coming in and each one of these trucks has got 10 hours a little over 10 hours on them so I don't know how many will wrap up the time we're done harvesting because don't forget that 2800 acres up there on the east side that's all mustard that all have to be hauled too and I have no idea how much mustard we'll get off of that but we'll find out so anyway we're gonna get this third truck put away uh, and I think we're gonna call it a day <laughs> absolutely so anyway uh, don't forget to go down and hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you like this content uh, if you like to share it please do but as a dirt road farmer I think we're gonna call it a day and as always, thank you for watching.